Welcome back to Devil May Cry, which is apparently now Harry Potter. I don't know if you saw that, but we had the words stone, elixir, and philosophers all, all together there. So I can only assume that Devil May Cry decided that Harry Potter was in, and decided that its audience of 17 plus year olds really, really, really needed, needed that reference. I can think of no other reason. This game wasn't in development at all for years. Anyway, we've got the perfect amulet now, which upgraded our sword and gave us Soul Edge, it looks like. Okay, it's Sparta, so it's basically our dad is the sword, but basically it's Soul Edge. It looks a lot like Soul Edge. And I guess that's our new weapon that we'll use for most of the guys now, probably. We're still just teleporting around, backtracking, doing all sorts of fun stuff. But, okay, that see, that looked perfect to me, and yet it still didn't give it to me. The platforming in this game is just awful. Oh no, not another underwater segment. Oh, the controls are reversed, and it's just awful and terrible, and nothing good ever comes from underwater segments in video games. You can go ahead and name some that were effective enough, but chances are they were not better than the actual game you were playing. At least it was short. Or was it? Oh no, there's enemies. Oh no, we've got the Reaper dudes with their scissors. And, and, and that one's stuck in the wall maybe. Okay, there he is. And our gun is not very good. We only have the needle gun and it's hard to aim. At least the enemies are really, really stupid underwater and don't actually try to kill you very much. But still. Okay, is that one dead? Or did it just fall? Okay, we've killed one, or maybe two. No, just one. Okay, you're dead now. No, maybe not? I thought it was dead. Oh, I still hear the scissors. Ah, okay, we got hit. That's fine. Oh, we got hit again. That's not fine. Die. They can turn and move so much faster than I can turn, and yes, I know there's a quick turn mechanic, but it's bad, it doesn't work well. Or I'm just bad. That's also possible. Yeah, they're just coming from the wall, and... Uh... Okay, there we go. Okay, can we get this one? Okay. I think we got them all. I think. Okay, yeah. So, that was a fun underwater section that added a lot to this video game. Totally. I really appreciated it. Underwater segments are great, when they completely change the the tone and how the game is played. The mechanics, that's the word I wanted. Okay, fine. That was it. Hopefully. Now we never have to go underwater again. Ever, ever. Ooh, that sword seems like it's got some good hitboxes to that sword. Now we're back to this area. This actually seems much less effective against this than if it ever was, but okay. Oh no, more underwater. It took me a couple seconds to realize that. I'm like, oh no, I'm underwater right now. What do I do? What do I do? Let's swim up, I guess. Okay, we got up here. What do we do up here? Where are we even going? It's easy to get lost in this game. Okay, if we can go to that door, let's see... What's up here? Okay, dead end. Now the camera switches here, and the knight also points over there, but I'm pretty stupid, so I don't jump over there. I instead I'm like, hey, let's go check out that door. I think doors are pretty okay. And then I ignore the door. There we go. Took me a second, but we got there. We got there, gamers, and now we're... In this area, where we fought that Shadow Lion dude before. You remember that Shadow Lion dude before, right? Okay, this looks like it's gonna be that same boss fight from before. Like, just two episodes ago, I think it was. But, how do we trigger it? There's no puddle on the floor this time. Hmm. Hmm. This could be a challenge. Oh, maybe we should talk to the flame. Those who seek the truth shall put the egg in the basket. Okay. So we have to get an egg. 
That makes sense. We should probably find that. But, but what do we do? Where do we go? How do we get the egg? I don't know. I'm too stupid. I'll eventually figure it out. No, no door over there. There used to be a door over there, if you remember. If you recall. Anyway, I decided to speed this up because it's bad platforming and just bad gameplay. I... I decided to just look around this whole area because I still didn't know that I should jump from where the knights are. Eventually I figured it out. Takes a while, but eventually. I'm like, hey, we can make the jump. And then I fell. I fell right at the end. How lame is that? You get to the very top, and then the game is just like, you know what? You angled this just slightly off. You don't get to actually get the thing that you need to progress in this video game. Thanks, game. You're a real pal. Anyway, we're back. We can now do the thing. But first, let's get a little bit of a head start on our boss, because we know that that illumination is what allows him to be hit. Okay, let us... I, I wish it would let us skip this dialogue. Maybe you can, but I didn't figure out how. I just know that... Yes, let's use the Philosopher's Egg. I wonder if they couldn't call it the stone. I wonder if they would have got sued. Probably. And now we've got another boss fight. But this time, the arena is even smaller. And we don't even have full health. So I'm like, huh, should I use this new weapon or should I use the tried and true Ifrit? Let's use the tried and true Ifrit. I know it can open the, the... it can hit the stones better. And I don't really know how much damage Sparta does. So... I missed there. That was just my bad. But that's okay. See, this isn't doing bad damage. And then we can only take a couple punches and then the light's back on. Which means we avoid altogether the the dudes on the ground. The ones that uh, that try to ice you. Got these little mini dudes. And then the ball. See, this isn't going that bad. I know how to beat this guy now. This this is okay. Just rinse and repeat. And as long as nothing changes, we, we should be able to, to beat him. Because once you've got the pattern down, it's not that bad. Except that first cycle with the ball, the first stage, once you open it up, it's bad. Oh, but he's got... He's got a new attack. This one just just hits us when we're on top of him. Well, that's that's bad. That's really bad. That that could kill us even. Let's hope he doesn't use that a whole lot. But we're still doing okay. I mean, we still have half our health, our total health anyway. And he's almost down to half. So as long as we don't goof it up too bad, we might even be able to one-shot this boss. Okay, what are you doing, Dud? There we go. There we go. Oh, these things. These things seem to have gotten a little bit better, actually. Because he just took us half health and we barely even hit him. It's not so good. Oh, and we're getting dragged down again. But we know if we beat this, we do a quarter of his health. So this isn't actually the worst thing. Plus, down here, we can get some more red orbs. And even some green orbs. And refill our, our Goku gauge. Uh, so, you know what? Things could be worse. I do see the Shadow Griffin, though. And... That that could be bad, maybe. We'll see, we'll see how easy it is to beat him down here. I know that the, the Shadow Scorpion Spider Dude wasn't as bad... And we never really had too much trouble with the griffin anyway, so that that should be okay as long as we could see him. That would be nice. Where is he? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll get the handguns out because that's the strat we used against him before. And oh, 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 this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. 
Yeah, we're doing some decent damage, but uh, we're kind of getting hurt a lot here. This is... Oof. Okay, good dodge. Oh, and... Oh, and I died. I died to the griffin. And this boss actually took a couple of tries, which I'm going to include at the end of this video, so you don't even have to click away. You can just watch me beat him and then watch me die a bunch. So this is the one that actually allowed me to win. Uh, I decided, or I found out, that using our new weapon, after the game gave us a new weapon, was a good idea. Believe it or not, it does quite a bit of damage. We don't get a, a, a Goku meter, but we don't really need it. Like, look at how much damage we just did, and we haven't even been hit yet. Uh, the auto-targeting kind of sucks, but that's okay. It takes longer to break those open or keep those open, but again, that's fine, because we do so much damage. Look at how much damage that's doing. We just run away. Let me hit the thing. Come on, game. You know that I'm... Oh. That's that's not good. That's not great. But you know what? We'll deal with it. Let me, let me jump and hit him, please. I, I was trying. I was trying so hard. Oof. Oof. I don't like that attack. It's too quick. These ones are easy to dodge. Ooh, and now he's got the spinny thing out. But we still have a vital star, so it's okay. Because so we've got him close to half health. Our jumping slices are doing a good chunk each time. Like, look at that. Look at that damage. This is fine. We've got this. Okay, let me hit the thing. Again, the auto-targeting, the camera, it's all just, it's all bad. It's all frustrating. It's, I don't want to call it artificial difficulty because I think it was just due to the technology at the time or what gamers expected at the time, but oh, I do not like it at all. Look at that damage. We're just, we're just destroying this dude. Oh, and we got him so close. One more cycle is all we should need. And, and then we'll take him down and we'll win. We'll win the game. Shout out to anyone who just lost the game. You know what I'm talking about. Oof. See, like, I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that first one. That He just decided that that was the attack he wanted to use, and then killed me. Oh, we're getting... Oh, we're getting close. Oh, did we get him? We got him. Whew. That's not the easiest fight in the world. That, uh... In terms of boss fights in late game, this is probably one of the hardest... Uh, this, the sludge dude, is not easy. Spoiler alert, we will fight him one more time. Spoiler alert, it's not easy. But that's okay. We'll get there. We got our Philosopher's Elixir, which is, you know, what the Philosopher's Stone in Harry Potter was. It was the thing that keeps you alive forever, I believe. And we'll see what we have to do with that on the next episode.